Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a really easy song by Tom Petty called Free Fallen. And it starts out on a D major chord. And so the way you play D major, first finger is going to go on the G string on the second fret, second finger is going to go on the high E on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go on the B string on the third fret. And with a D major, you just strum just the top four strings with the skinny strings, the D, G, B, and E. Get your clearest sound. And then uh, we're going to use a G major, but we're going to kind of play it in, in a different way than, than we've talked about in, in some other uh, songs. But we're going to take the first finger and put them on the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go on the low E on the third fret. And the third finger is going to go on the B string on the third fret. And the pinky is going to go to the high E string on the third fret. And all together that makes a G major chord. But that can make it a little bit easier to make the D major to G major change. The third finger actually is in the same place, and this is something we, we call a guide finger, where you kind of have the third finger, you can kind of imagine has a dotted loo and doesn't have to move to the second chord to the G major. So from the beginning we've got D major, G major, and then we're going to actually play another G major, and another D major, and then we're going to go to an A major chord. And the way you play A major, we're going to take the first finger and put them on the D on the second fret, the second finger is going to go on the G on the second fret. Third finger is going to go on the B on the second fret. So all together, it's kind of a big happy A major chord and a big party on the second fret. So from the beginning, that that's kind of our intros. We got D major, G major, G major, D major, A major, D major, G major, G major. slightly more interesting, we could add what, what I call a strum pattern to that. But we'll, we'll just kind of go over it this way. We're, we're going to take the D major and go down, up, up, and then we're going to make the G change on a down. <laughs> so from the beginning you got D, up, up, G with a down, and then we're going to go up, up, down, up, down. measure. So, so we got D major with down, up, up, G with a down, up, up, down, up, down, up. It's kind of the very, very beginning using the strum pattern. So we got D with down, up, up, G with a down, changes happen, we're, we're going to go down on the G, down and then down on the D, and then down on the A, but then add in a up, up, down, up, down, up to the A chord. So we got D with down, up, up, G with a down, up, up, down, up, down, G with a down, D with a down, A with a down, up, up, down, up, down, up G with a down, up, up, G with a down. this along with the recording with, with Tom Petty, um, instead of starting on a D major chord, Tom Petty's actually starting on an F major chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the capo and put him on third fret on, on, on the guitar and kind of cover up all the, all the uh, strings. And we're going to take D major and do exactly the same thing, but now our D major is really an F major, our G major is really a B flat major, and our A major is really a C major. So from the beginning we got D with a down, G with a down, G with a down, B with a down, A with a down, D with a down, G with a down, G, B, A, and then we can try the strum pattern. So we got D with a down, up, up, G with a down.
the basics of how you could kind of strum through an easy song by Tom Petty called Free Fallin'. So, good luck!